Hi, Eleanor. Oh, do you know there are so many bugs in the world? There are more bugs than people and other animals and all of that. Some bugs are really, really cool and funny and interesting. And this story has a lot of insects in it. It's a story about a cricket. It's called The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. I wonder if you heard some crickets when you were in, in Michigan visiting grandma. Crickets do a kind of a chirping noise. And they're so funny. They're fun to watch. So let's see what this very quiet cricket is going to do. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Do you see that tiny egg right there? And there's the little tiny cricket. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust. Spinning through the air, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Ooh, what's that? Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping his huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Wow, have you ever seen a praying mantis? Look at his triangle face. And he's got his, his hands. He puts up like he's praying. He's so cool. Ooh, what's that? A big apple tree? Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, burbled a spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Does it look like he's getting a little bit bigger? I think so. Good morning, screeched a cicada, clinging to the branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Boy, I can hardly see his wings, they're so tiny. Look at these big wings of the cicada. Aren't they cool? How are you, hummed a bumblebee flying from flower to flower. Look at that big, fat bumblebee going from clover to clover. Do you know what he's doing? He's collecting pollen from the flowers so he can make honey. Well, the little, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Have you seen dragonflies where you live? Do you remember when you were visiting grandma, there were dragonflies in the yard and one of them landed right on my knee. I don't think it was quite this pretty but there are lots of different kinds of dragonflies. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. Wow, look at all those mosquitoes. And see the stars? Woo, neat. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. There he is, oh look, I can see his wings. But nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night. 
the little cricket enjoyed the stillness. Did you know that Luna moths are so quiet? They just flap their wings and head through the night. Look at the stars in the sky. They like to fly at night. And little cricket didn't want to disturb the, the peace, so he didn't make any sound this time. He didn't even try. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. Oh my goodness. There's a new cricket. And she too was very, a very quiet cricket. And then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. Chirp, 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 chirp. Oh my goodness, I think my book is broken. It's supposed to make a chirping sound and it doesn't. But I think he found a new friend and now he's big enough that he can make noise too. He can chirp. Very cool. Oh, look, there they are in the moonlight on the back page. Well, Eleanor, sometime you need to go outside and see what bugs you can find. I bet you've already done that a lot. Your daddy used to love to look at bugs. He'd watch the ants and he'd follow them to see where they were going. I wonder if you would find a cricket in your yard. Maybe you should look. <laughs> Grandma loves you. I'll talk to you again sometime and read you another story next week. Love you. Bye-bye.